What's up everybody, Jason from JTV Life. Today, we're gonna to be checking out how these new Royal Oak charcoal pellets perform in the Bighorn Pizza Oven. Today, we're checking out the Royal Oak 100% charcoal pellets made for Traeger grills and other pellet operated things like the Bighorn Oven. I found out about these Royal Oaks in the comments section from one of the viewers, Silver Shadow 2 LWB. Thanks a lot for putting me on. So, a lot of people have had mixed uh, luck trying to find these locally. I was able to get them on the Home Depot website for $18.99. Shipped free to my door, so definitely check that out. But even on the Royal Oak website, it does say coming soon to a retailer near you. So these things are fresh off the press. So what is the difference between traditional Traeger hardwood pellets and these Royal Oak charcoal pellets? Well, first off, the most striking difference in the two pellets is the color. The Royal Oaks are black and the Traegers have that kind of traditional woody color. And the reason is, is these Royal Oak ones are made by compressing charcoal. Traeger, they compress hardwood. So typically the bag will be the label of what sort of wood variety it has. This is a bag of cherry. They do pecan, hickory, they have some blends. With the Royal Oak, they all come with their signature blend of oak and hickory hardwood. So it's gonna be the only type of wood this comes in. Royal Oak says that their pellets will give you an authentic charcoal taste in your Traeger grill. And I believe them because, well, they're made out of charcoal. Still not quite sure what the difference between charcoal and wood is. Charcoal is wood that's simply been carbonized, meaning it's been burnt to a certain degree, but not all the way. This makes charcoal easier to light, makes it burn hotter and burn cleaner. I do question whether or not these will offer the same smoky flavor profile that traditional wood pellets give you, since these have already been through the pyrolysis process. Woo, pyrosis rocks! Royal Oak does make the claim that they use no fillers or binders in the making of their pellets, but this is pretty standard in the food grade pellet space. The Traeger pellets are made by pressing a wood pulp through a pellet maker. It's pretty much a die and they heat it on the way out and that releases a lignin from the wood. Lignin is an organic polymer contained within the wood cell structure. It's utilized as a binding agent to hold the pellets together and it's also what gives them their glossy outside. And it's this lignin that holds the pellets together. So there is no need for glue or any sort of binders to hold it together. Another interesting claim that the Royal Oak charcoal pellets make is that they are water resistant. I guess this comes from charcoal just having a lower moisture content to begin with. Traeger pellets are around 6% moisture at the time of manufacture and must remain under 8% to be considered a premium wood pellet. On the other hand, charcoal has a moisture content of around 1% when it's removed from the kiln, although it does rapidly absorb moisture to the tune of around 8 to 10% by the time it reaches you. So I'm not really sure exactly what substantiates this claim, but it's definitely worth some more experimentation. Stay tuned for that. All right, well, enough talking about it. Let's fire this thing up, make a pizza pie, and see what it do. Oh yeah, and if you want to learn how to make other things inside your big horn oven, like these awesome puffy pitas, let's get this video to a thousand likes. Royal Oak claims that since their pellets are made out of charcoal, that they're going to light easier, burn hotter, and burn with less smoke. I will say in this oven, they smoke just about as much as the Traeger pellets, and they were actually a little bit trickier to initially get lit off. However, I do think that they did burn a little longer. For our test pot today, we're going to whip up a simple cheese and see how well that these Royal Oak pellets cook it. I'm hoping it's going to burn nice and hot, get a crispy bottom and a crispy top. First thing we got to do is add the pellets into the big horn. If you remember from my tips and tricks video, I always like to add the pellets for this pizza into the oven while I prepare it so that way they can get good and lit off before we slide the pie in. And I'm just doing the standard 100, 150 gram dose 
on this just like I would if I was using the wood pellets. For our pizza dough, just the Trader Joe's pre-made. They come in a one pound ball. I break them into two eight ounce balls. Let them sit in the fridge overnight. Put them up on the counter for about three hours. And look how easy these things work. Plenty of semolina on them too. Pizza peel out. Generous dusting. Pizza goes on. Little of that Kirkland's finest. Matanada. This is just how easy this oven makes slanging pies out of your backyard or campsite. bit of cheese this pizza is ready to rock right as we got flames coming out of the top timing is everything with the big horn door off nice easy release because we use plenty of semolina on that peel you gotta use semolina door on we'll go ahead and start the timer all right we're at about a minute and 15 seconds now you know i don't like to typically use the timer on the big horn i just like to go by the way it looks but for just comparison we're going to see how quick it cooks with these pellets wow she is already looking really cooked look at the flames coming across the roof on this thing all right, we'll check it in another minute. All right, I got my pizza box ready. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. It's been in for about three minutes. We'll see what we have. Oh yeah, top looking nice and crispy. What's that bottom? Bottom still not quite as crisp as I'd like, and we're actually gonna do an experiment right now. So a suggestion by the same viewer that actually told me about these pellets, Silver Shadow, Lima, Whiskey, Bravo, Deuce, was to go ahead and cook the pizza with the door off. Maybe this would reduce some of the heat and the burn on the cheese and give the bottom crust a little bit more of a chance to crisp up. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot and see if we can get a crispier bottom. So it's been about five minutes and the top's starting to brown up. Let's go ahead and pull it out and see if we got any crispier at the bottom. The bottom does not appear to be any crispier than the one with the door on. Yo, so I'm kind of frustrated. I want to get a crispy bottom on this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this thing up with pellets and just let it run for like 30 minutes see how hot we can get it and see if we can achieve that crispy bottom. One thing I have noticed when using the charcoal pellets is they don't seem to be igniting as quickly as the wood pellets do inside the Big Horn when you make the additions. All right, the Big Horn pizza oven has been idling now on this table for about 30 minutes. Ran a few pounds of pellets through it, so this thing has got to be about as hot as it can get. Let's see if preheating it will get us that nice, crispy, leopard bottom. One thing I did notice is even though these charcoal pellets are not as quick to ignite, they do seem to be burning a little bit slower than the Traeger hardwood pellets. So. 
haven't really done any sort of super scientific analysis on this, but that's just my observation. All right, let's put it in. All right, it's been about a minute and 15 seconds. Let's open up this door and see what this pizza looks like. Oh yeah, crispy. And we got the leoparding on the bottom. Check this out. Yeah, that is the money shot. That is what all of the pizza heads are going for. So it looks like to get that nice leoparding on the bottom, we just gotta suck it up and run some pellets through the back of this oven. Taking the door off, just slowed it down, but it didn't make the bottom any crispier. And just putting the pellets in to make one pizza isn't really gonna be worth it. You gotta feed this thing some pellets, get it nice and preheated. That way you can get that traditional leoparding that Neapolitan pizza pies are known for. I gotta say, I do like these charcoal pellets. They don't put much of a wood flavor on the pizza. So if the wood flavor is something that you really like, I would steer away from these. They do seem to burn a little bit slower. It's hard to tell because I've just thrown like half the bag at this. I haven't really been measuring it out, but they do seem to be burning a little bit slower than the hardwood pellets do. Has anybody else used these before? Let me know down in the comments. Got any ideas for future videos? I'm all ears, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Peace.